Nanoparticles are everywhere. Clothes, cosmetics, electronics, <laughs> food and medication. 50,000 times finer than a strand of hair, they measure roughly a billionth of a metre. Nanoparticles exist in the environment produced by volcanic activity, for example. They can be the result of pollutants like smog called ultrafine particles, but in general they're synthetic, made either by splitting from a source material or an agglomeration of atoms. They're present in powder, gel or solution form. The size of a nanoparticle gives it unprecedented physiochemical properties, such as resistance or transparency. Inactive on a microscopic scale, the same molecule on a nanoscale becomes very efficient. For example, silver nanoparticles have antibacterial and antifungal properties. In oncology, nanoparticles are used as a vehicle to deliver an active ingredient straight to the heart of a diseased cell, which avoids having to treat healthy cells. But the toxicity of nanoparticles absorbed, for example by brushing our teeth, is still little understood. They can pass through the intestinal wall straight to the heart, liver or lungs. Studies show that nanoparticles cling to human tissue and can trigger inflammatory reactions at the heart of cells. There are also concerns about their presence in the environment. Because of their size, nanoparticles can't be filtered from water or air, so they come into direct contact with nature. 